Hello all, I'm Commander Santanam from Bangalore, Karnataka, India. Do you know that the claim preparation and submission can be done from your home? If not, this video will be of help to you. Normally for reimbursement of medicines which you purchase from the pharmacy, you submit a claim in hard copies or in paper copies with all supporting documents, including contingent bill, etc., and sign it and hand it over to your polyclinic. After that, the polyclinic billing section enters them in the application software and process your bills. Obviously, this particular effort takes time by the polyclinic staff as well. The online facility, which is now available to you, will help you to do all actions from the home using a computer. Since you are uploading all supporting documents, you only need to scan these documents and upload. Good scanners are now available even in your mobile phones and hence scanning at home is reasonably easy. After you submit your claims online, you need to submit four documents or four paper copies only to the polyclinic, the parent polyclinic billing section. Let me take you through the online claiming procedure for reimbursement of medicines purchased, which is available to all beneficiaries. So let's start with online reimbursement claim limited to the pharmacy bills. This video will cover features of this online claim application software as existing today, June 2022. Some of the features which are of interest to you, the BPA site where this particular application software is to be launched is given here as www.echsbpa.uitisl.com. Make a note of this. This supports the reimbursement claims of three important uh, uh, items. First is inpatient. That is, when somebody gets admitted in non impaneled hospital, they get the reimbursement as per CGHS rates. That particular claim can be uploaded using this particular application. Please see my video on managing medical condition in non impaneled hospital also. Outpatient claims, that is somebody goes only as outpatient, spends money and that particular reimbursement of that money as per CGHS rates or sanctioned rates, you can use this particular software application. And finally, what we are going to cover today is based on non-availability certificate from the polyclinic you have purchased medicines, you can put up the claim using this application. <clears throat> Please note that a separate claim is to be submitted by each beneficiary. That is, a ESM claim should be a separate claim and the spouse medicines purchase will have to be a separate claim, similarly for dependents. Hard copies are to be submitted to the polyclinic at a parent polyclinic within 15 days of completion of the upload using this application. Moment you upload, you get the claim ID, which can be used for status tracking. You don't have to ask anybody what is the status of your claim. You can do it yourself. There are some limitations, important ones. Maximum number of claims which you can upload per month for each card is Inpatient claim, four numbers, 
outpatient claim, four numbers, pharmacy bills, eight numbers. I recommend the following preparatory actions so that the entire claiming process is very quick and efficient. Scan the following documents, save it in your computer for uploading into this application. 64 KB ECHS card of the claimant, medicine prescription, the bill for medicines purchased, cancelled bank check to where you want the reimbursement amount to be credited, non-availability certificate which has been issued, signed and stamped by OSC Parent Polyclinic. Any other document which you consider important for this particular claim, scan it and keep it. Two important things, all these documents are to be in PDF format, that is Adobe Acrobat PDF format. Size of each document should be less than two megabytes or two MB. Let's start. Launch this website as given here above. Immediately after launching in your browser, you will see the home page as below. Let's start with the steps. Step number one, click here. Click this. Once you click this, this particular window will be visible. This is step number two. You have to log in into this application. Quite simple. Enter your 64 KB card number. That is the claimant's 64 KB card number and the registered mobile which he used during application for this 64 KB and click this particular arrow item called get OTP. You will now receive the OTP in your registered mobile. Enter that OTP, submit OTP. Click this submit OTP. You will see the screen. This is a start of the claiming process. Member claim. Click on this. You will have three options which are called a type of reimbursement. As I mentioned, we have three type of reimbursement supported inpatient, outpatient and pharmacy. We are dealing with only this particular option pharmacy here. So click on this. Click this radio button and submit. This screen will come which has got many tabs, patient details, pharmacy details, etc. Patient details based on your card information and what you have inputted so far, automatically the patient details are pre-filled and it is visible to you. You have no action to do on this because you cannot edit any of these details. Just check that everything is correct and the claimant name is there, the card number is correct, etc., etc. After that, click the next tab, Pharmacy Details. Quite simple, enter the pharmacy, name of the pharmacy where you purchase the medicine. When did you buy it? That is, visit date is nothing but purchase date. Hours and minutes, I wonder why it is required as mandatory. Just enter from the drop down, select some, uh, some figure, 00 I have selected. The reason for pharmacy visit is optional. You can enter in case for reference. At this point, on the right hand side, you will see save and continue. Click on this. You will immediately see a window here which will show an interim claim ID generated for this particular claim which you have started. Save and continue is quite important in each screen so that up to that point, the details are saved in the database. Let's go to the next tab, which is bill details. Enter the bill number from the original bill. Enter the bill date from that bill. Enter the medicine charges. Total amount gets calculated. Discount, enter it if it is there in the bill. Net claim amount automatically gets calculated and is visible. That's it. This tab is completed. Let's go to the next tab. Upload documents. We started with preparatory actions. You have all the documents which are required. Let's start with that. ECHS card copy, prescription slip, bill details, there is a bill, non-availability certificate, cancel check. That's it. 
All these are already scanned and kept by you. Quite simple. Start with this. Click on this radio button. ECHS card copy. Click choose file. It will take you to the folder. Or you go to that folder where you have saved these file, these scan copies. Choose that particular file. Click on upload. You will find that item uploaded here. ECHS card copy, so on so so on so file name which you gave. Size. Size has to be less than 2 MB. This is only 32 KB. Date and time when it was uploaded. Then click on this radio button. Choose file. Correct file which is prescription slip. Upload file. You will get this prescription slip. Description of that file etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. That's it. All this file gets uploaded very quickly and very easily. Click save and continue. You will still see that interim claim ID. Ignore it. Go to the next screen, which is ESM bank details. This is only to be done only once. First claim for that particular beneficiary or the card number. Enter these self-explanatory details. Bank name, branch, IFSC, MS, MIS, CR, account number, confirm account number. Very important. See that these are entered accurately. And... Uh, maps or matches the cancel check which you have already uploaded once you do this next time you don't have to enter this but in case you want to change the bank in the next claim for you you have to tick this box for changing the bank details otherwise this bank details will be taken as default for all your future claims for that particular claimant let's go to the last screen this is called as final submit. There are three actions here. Click this. This is to uh, confirm that you are accepting the terms and conditions of this particular application. Once you tick this, download contingent bill. The contingent bill with certain pre-filled data which has been given in this particular um, details in different tabs gets filled up automatically. We will discuss this in the next slide. And then finally, this will be enabled. Click final submit. So I'll just repeat it here. Click this, download contingent bill, save that contingent bill so that you can print it out later on. After that, do the final submit in this sequence. Moment you submit final submit, Claim is now submitted successfully by you. What you will get is a confirmation notice window, claim for reimbursement, etc. with claim ID. This claim ID is now allotted for this particular claim for all future reference and tracking status, etc. etc. Let's see the contingent bill very quickly. There are certain pre-filled information. I'll just go through it. Claim ID, patient name, service number, beneficiary name, card number, total amount, Total amount is this, which you gave it there in your bill, address, etc. What you have to take action, this you have saved already in your computer. Print it out. Fill up the date and details of the expenditure exactly as written in the bill, which you have already uploaded. Okay. And sign this. Put the date. After that, your actions are as follows. Submit to your parent polyclinic within 15 days of the final submit. Completed contingent bill, original pharmacy bill, non-availability certificate, OAC signed and stamped, cancel check. Go and give it to your polyclinic and they will start the verification process and other actions. Let's conclude this. Typically, one claim, what we have gone through now from end to end, takes about 30 minutes, maybe less. Of course, you need to have the correct documents scanned and kept ready as I have recommended in the first slide. You can easily track your status of your claim using this site and using your claim ID. You don't have to ask anybody or wonder what has happened to your claim. If there are any queries from Polyclinic or anybody else on this claim, you will get to know this and you can answer them easily. There are about only four documents for each claim to be submitted as hard copies to parent polyclinic. If you use this 
application. The verification action by the billing section of your parent polyclinic is considerably is reduced. In fact, your claim will start moving faster. Of course, your data has to be correct. I personally recommend that beneficiaries start using this. Once you use this, you may uh, identify improvement areas. You can give the feedback to ECHS organization. I have provided detailed improvements that are possible to be implemented in this application software to the central organization, ECHS. We're coming towards the conclusion. I'm sure you found the details so far provided in this video very useful. To sum up, we covered the preparation actions before initiating online claim, filling up of the claim and online submission. We also covered actions that are to be taken by beneficiaries after submission online. We also touched upon the claim ID, which is available to you at the end of the online submission and its use for you to track the status of the claim. You don't have to ask anybody. There are, of course, many improvements that are possible to this application software. I have projected these to the central organization ECHS and hopefully we get another version of this application software with more features. If you like this video and the earlier videos, please hit the subscribe button now. This will also notify you when I post a new video in the near future. You may be aware that so far, I have posted eight videos on ECHS services or facilities. Let me recap. The videos are emergency treatment using empaneled hospital, emergency treatment using non-empaneled hospital, ECHS referral system for empaneled hospital, ECHS 64KB card, two videos, the treatment procedures at ECHS and various facilities, high power committee for special sanction, and finally, domiciliary equipment from ECHS, how you can get homemade equipments for the, uh, as prescribed by the specialist. This is the ninth video. All these videos will give you good inputs to get the best from ECHS. Do not forget to visit my web portal called as Helping Hands for ECHS. Step-by-step -step procedures, very easy to understand. Procedures for every facility offered by ECHS is available. Helping Hands for ECHS is also available in Twitter. If you need help, do not hesitate to call my mobile. Your feedback on the web portal and the videos is most welcome. Jai Hind.